Let's now understand the first difference in exponential equation. Question 37. For an exponential function f of x equals to a b to the power of x, each first difference in the sequence is three times the previous one. This implies that base b should be 3. Explain why. Okay. Now, what we can do here is we can take an example and then do our problem. That's one way. Second is we can do in general also. Okay, let me take one example. Let's say we say why b should be 3. Let's take b as 3 and see what happens, correct? And then we will explain it in general also, correct? Now let us say b is 3 and then we have a function versus 3 to the power of x. Now for this function, let me write down the values and then check the first difference. Let's say we will write some different values for x and write function value, right? Let us start with few values, okay? Let's take, for example, 0. So anything to the power of 0 is 1. And if I take 1, 3 to the power of 1 will be 3. And for 2, 3 to the power of 2 is 9. And for 3, it is 27. And for 4, it is 81. Okay. Now, let's do first difference. So, if I do first difference, that means this minus this, let me use a different ink this time, then we get 3 minus 1 is 2, and 9 minus 3 is 6, and 27 minus 9 is how much? 18, right? And how about 18 minus this? So 18 minus this is 3 times. What is 3 times 18? 3 times 8 is 24. And 3 times 1 is 3. And 2 54. Is that right or wrong? Let's check. 81 minus 27. So 11 take away 7 is 4. And we, we have 7 here. And 7 take away 2 is 5. Correct. So what we see here is very interesting. What is the difference? This is 2 and what is 2 times 3 is 6, right? So 6 is basically we get 2 times 3 as 6, right? And then we get 6 times 3 as 18 and 18 times 3 as 54. So this is what we mean by saying that the first difference in the sequence is three times the previous one. So this is the difference and this is three times this. Correct? What I'm trying to say is if I divide 6 by 2 I get 3. If I divide 18 by 6 I get 3. If I divide 54 by 18 I get 3. So each term in this sequence is three times the previous one. And what did we take? We took just b as 3, correct? a, we took just 1 and b as 3 and that's what we found. And that is so typical about exponential functions. Now, we need to explain it. With this example, well, it's a good enough explanation. But in general, how can we explain it? So, here is the explanation. Now, let us take a general equation, correct? And if I take a general equation, then what will happen? See, these values, these are the next values, correct? Do you see these are also three times? Do you see that? These are also three times. Well, if I prove that these are three times, my difference will be three times also, correct? Let's see. So basically what we have, if a Generally, if I say a is a and any value, then I can write this as let's say my function is a b to the power of x, correct? In that case, this is my, let's say first term is when I put this as 0, then I get a b to the power of 0, then I get a b to the power of 1. And then I get 
AB to the power of 2 and then I get AB cube right and AB to the power of 4 and so on correct now look at it like this if I do so this is B times this is it okay so what is this minus this so I can take AB common correct right now or if I divide this by this what do I get if I divide this by this then I get this is like let's say in general we have a b to the power of n in this case x correct if x is n okay now remember one thing uh, let's say let's take concrete example here in between so we have a difference which is saying a b to the power of 3 minus a b square correct now here what I can do is I can take a b square common right so a b square common so I'm left with b from here and minus 1 from here is it okay if I do this difference that is a b to the power of 4 minus a b cube right this time what will I take common I will take a b cube common and I'll be left with b minus 1. Is it okay? So you will see that I'm always left with in, in my difference b minus 1. Got it? Now here this is my first difference okay because I'm doing this difference. Is that okay? Here also I can take a b square minus a b right? then if I do this I can take a b common right and I can factor out b minus 1 b minus 1 correct now if I divide this by this then what happens that is interesting right if I divide this by this that is I'm saying a b square times b minus 1 divided by a b times b minus 1 what happens I get b do you see that again this is a bit different thing for that difference here it is a b cube so I'll divide a b cube times b minus 1 divided by a b square times b minus 1 what do I get a a will cancel out b minus 1 b minus 1 will cancel out this is b cube and this is b square and left with b do you see so when I take the ratio of consecutive terms in the first difference I will always get b do you see that that is what we are trying to prove and that is how in general we can prove it right so always the sequence which we get as a first difference will be multiples of base b correct that's a prime property of any exponential function okay i hope this example in general and in particular explains very clearly why the first difference are multiples of the base right or their ratio is always constant which is equal to the base of the exponential function I hope you appreciate it thank you